Today, I'm just going to go over the benefits of port matching. With these motors, you've got quite a bit larger ports than you do the actual, you know, the in, this is the intake manifold on a stock motor. Um, and with this, you can see that it's not going to match up correctly compared to the actual intake of the um, motor itself. This is a performance intake. Um, it's billet aluminum, and you can see how oval shaped it is and how wide it is compared to your actual stock intake. And that's why a lot of people, you know, they go out and buy performance intakes, which it helps quite a bit. And it's, you know, bolt on, you know, no hassle, five minutes and you're out on the road. But something that I like to do is, despite the fact that I have this intake, I never used it. I don't even know why I spent money on it. Uh, something that I like to do is I like to take one of these stock manifolds. You've got to excuse this is my extended intake. And then you take your Dremel and you get a sanding attachment, which is these things basically right here. Um, they're little drum rolls. Let's see if I can find my uh, attachment. Here it is. Uh, you basically use these um, and you just essentially slowly bore out the edges and you get a really nice fine um, uh, bore line with these sanding attachments. If you're kind of impatient, uh, what I like to do is I just like to take these rough uh, grinding stones just to get a baseline out. And then I go in with these sanding rolls later on for a you know nice fine. Um, you don't want it completely smooth because with carburetors, the atomization of the fuel, what the what the fuel does is it creates a slick layer on the manifold itself just to um, increase the speed of the uh, gas and air charge. And with that, what happens is it's just a lot smoother for it to go in. You get a lot better of a flow characteristic, and you can get quite a bit more fuel in there compared to a stock manifold. And with that, something else you want to do is make sure your gaskets are cut out to match. Because if you don't, then you're still going to be going through this little dinky hole. Um, I don't have an example with me, but right here, actually, this is a stock gasket. And like I said, if you're not matching that, then you're just creating a barrier itself anyways. And with these stock gaskets, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see where it was crinkled up against the uh, stock jug that it's got quite a bit of an indent in it. That And that's just, uh, that's just wasted space. You've got the oval intake on the, um, man of, uh, on the jug itself. And you're just constricting it by putting that gasket in there if you're going to port it out like that to match it up. So that's just something that's uh, a basic, you know, $5 performance upgrade. And a lot of people will say they open, like, get half as much more power out of an engine. So you've got, you know, so if you've got two horsepower, you can get three out of it just by doing that. And that's something you can definitely do with the... Um, exhaust manifold as well this is one off a uh, old exhaust that i had that i chopped off but you oval it out and it just promotes flow completely and that's exactly what an engine is it's a giant air pump and if you flow very well then you're gonna have a lot more performance a lot more economy uh you know higher top speed um, it'll just make it a lot more drivable and that's just that's probably why this is one of the most popular mods that people do when you poured it out, then, you know, you've got the awesome flow characteristics of a, I guess, higher top dollar motor for only $5. It's just uh, cutting costs at the factory to get these cheap to you. And that's exactly why people do this. Just get a little bit more out of their, out of their money. And that's why this is one of the best mods that you can do. Thanks.